What's going on guys? Part 13, Dragster Build. Today we are doing an intake. An old school bug catcher. Snorkel scoop. Yep, and we're also putting an electric fuel pump on it and we're adding some, uh, some more braces to our jack shafts and then probably cutting off a little bit of our jack shaft to save some weight. What I was thinking was we got this line here, we'll cut it down here, cut it along there, and we got this nice curve here. We're gonna also cut the other side off and we're gonna bring the two together to make a nice round scoop on the top. Flat on the bottom. I think it'll look pretty cool. I think so too. Yeah. All right, man, let's make some measurements and uh, cut. Let's make some sparks. Looks like 14 inches ought to do. Yep, that'd be more than enough. I think that's gonna work for us, dude. I kinda like it. Yeah. Good enough. So cool. let's weld these things together. You're gonna have to go eh. You got it. Eh. You were like eh. I think that's it, buddy. It's looking good, dude. Thank you. Uh, bottom piece? Yeah, we need to work on that bottom piece. Sounds good. Can't breathe. Thank you, stuff, ain't yeah. it? bit of a curve in this you know the hood has a little bit of a curve mm -hmm. more here than there yeah that's better oh yeah it's gonna be raised up a little bit right yes i think that would look good but Raised up a little bit, yeah. All right, well let's make one of our runs to the stow for a fuel pump. Run, Isaac, run! You run fast, dude. Thanks. Got a got a fuel pump. Got a fuel pump here. Okay. And now we're looking for seam sealer, but That's not right. sure we're gonna find anything. Now fuel pump.
We have to make a run to the store to grab an air filter as well as uh, like pipe to adapt our intake to our air cleaner. You ready? Yeah, buddy. All right, cool. Two ninety nine. Sweet. Dude, pantyhose? What? What? What are we doing here? Uh, I'm doing what we can for a filter, dude. So we're using pantyhose for an air filter. It'll be fine. Slims tummy and hips, minimizes thighs. Good to go. So what do you usually look for in pantyhose? A uh, good uh, bug blockage. Good bug blockage. <laughs> air filtration. Air filtration. All right. <laughs> air flow. She says she's coming on different. Hey man, we got some mail today. Did we now? Yes sir. Who's it from? Who do you think it's from, dude? Go Power Sports. All right, man, let's open it up. Ah. Hey, yo. There we go. We got ourselves a replacement axle for the rail because when we sheared the key, that first time we did the test drive with that cheap key, um, put a hurting on the axle. And we figured after a while, we're probably gonna need a new axle on it anyway because that thing is rated for like a six and a half horsepower uh, go-kart, not a 50 horsepower go-kart. And then finally, that's better. Y'all ain't gonna guess what these are. They're tires? Tires. <laughs> yeah. Tires for my CT70, which is gonna be our next big project on Off-Road Wednesday. Pretty good shipment, dude. Pretty good. Pretty good what? Shipment. That scoop. Oh, I like that. The wild Ozzy is confused by panty <laughs> So I was thinking about making a insert that goes in here, made out of coat hanger or something, and then have this stretch on it and just pop it in place. Okay. And just have that. That's a good filter, I think. Not as good as the filter that we took off, but Decent. Decent. Yep. For the first time on Cars and Cameras, we are sandblasting. Sandblasting is a great way, probably the ideal way, to remove rust from metal, or in this case, paint and stickers. What do you think? It's gonna weld up that hole right there that I put in there, but. Oh yeah. And we'll need to uh, drill a hole in the bottom for the wiring. We are filling in a couple holes that revealed themselves when we sandblasted it. So, gonna do some welding. Bondo is a type of, I'm gonna say plastic. I don't know what Bondo is, it just works. So usually to mix Bondo, you want like a golf ball size glob. That's gonna say that's two golf balls right there. And you add an inch of hardener per golf ball. Wow, that looks bad. Looks like ketchup, dude. I'm gonna go three inches. Mix her up, and you want it to mix up evenly, and it's gonna have a pretty pink look to it. 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this nice little paddle here. And I'm going to begin to apply some Bondo. There's a real like low spot there. Y'all don't pick on it. I know it looks terrible, <laughs> but that's what sandpaper's for. While that Bondo is hopefully drying, I'm gonna go ahead and plumb our new electric fuel pump that we installed the other night and then hook up the fuel line. 10 snips for testing purposes. Okay. All right, cool. That wasn't too bad. Now all we have to do is hook up the electrical and then we have a uh, oh boy. Fuel again. Yeah. Dude, we haven't told them what color we're going with. Oh, well, it's not. Uh, they could probably guess by now. <laughs> yeah, it's not green for the for the money, gold for the honey. So we told you guys we were going green paint with gold metallic flake in it. Uh, we couldn't find any of that in spray paint, and we figured uh, because our stuff gets used a lot, it gets beat up. Spending a couple hundred dollars in paint just doesn't make sense for us. Coat number two. Pretty good, man. Thanks, bud. Pretty good. I don't think anybody would guess that that used to be a Jeep hood. I'm gonna be honest, it's got some runs in it, though. Um, from the primer. Yep, from the primer. We were painting this outside and it was like 40 degrees. Yeah, Fahrenheit, it's like cold. 40 degrees, we couldn't paint it inside in the heat, so the paint kind of ran a little bit. Yeah, it was the primer that did it. The primer was what ran the flake did pretty good, but it's kind of showing up the runs. It'll be fine. Yeah. If it looks that bad, we'll redo it. So we got our air scoop mostly done and we got our electric fuel pump mounted and functioning. We need to show them that it functions. Hey, look at that. But we have to be honest with you. Uh, we are kind of out of time. Ike has a big family get together uh, tomorrow and I am headed out of town for the week. I mean, it's the holidays. So what do you guys think of the paint color we chose? It's not green, nor is it gold, but it's cheap and it's local and it's metallic. We have to thank Go Power Sports. We got a shipment in from them today. Uh, what did we get? We got a sprocket. We got a, a mamma jamma of a sprocket and with a, a heavy steel duty. hub. Since we were having, you know, I don't think that aluminum hub was made for 50, 50 horsepower. horsepower. So this ought to do it. Yes. So we're gonna be installing that soon. Also hoping to get this thing on the dyno so we can tell you guys what it really puts down at the wheels. Let me show them the final touch that we're doing. Where is it? Actually that white on blue contrast looks pretty good. What do y'all think? Next Monday we are coming at you with a Q&A. Next Monday is December 25th aka Christmas. So we are not gonna be working on any of our projects, but we are going to be uh, answering a Q&A. Um, so if you have any questions, leave them down below. We'll uh, check them out and uh, answer them. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check me out at Isaac, it'll be fine. Yeah, what do you think of our air cleaner? It's not done and it's not green, it's blue, but uh, the blue was metallic, cheap, and local. So it worked out. Yep. Uh, and I think it looks good apart from the runs. We'll probably fix those in a future episode. Anyway, thanks for watching. We will see you in the next one.